and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, um, today was a bit hectic. It took me a while to figure out what style I wanted to do, but I ended up coming up with this um, style. It was a bit of trial and error, but I came down to this, and you guys will see that in this video. This hair um, was sent to me by All Love Hair. I will put their store link down below, and they sent me this hair. Of course, um, they sent me this type of wig cap. Um, they just sent me like the brown wig caps, but that's okay. I don't even use a wig cap for this look. And then um, some eyelashes and a little ponytail. Um, this is their straight hair, which is all it's called. It's their straight hair, and this is 24 inches. Um, I think it is pretty much 24 inches. Like, let me back up to show you. Here it is. I'm trying to show you the very end of it. Yeah, it's 24 inches, and it is really soft. The hair is really soft, and it's 150 density, so that's why it's like this. 150 density is always like the most natural to me. This is their 13 by 4 um, lace frontal, so it's like 4 inches deep, and then 13 inches from here to there. Um, I prefer like 13 by 6s, of course, but I still make this work somehow. Um, the lace was just a bit too dark for me, so that's what gave me a hard time. Like that's why I covered the lace like this, and I just put some concealer on this side and put some like baby hair to hide it. But I made the sides work. It was just in the front. I couldn't like leave it in the middle part. But if you guys want some like you know affordable, nice straight hair, I do recommend this. It is pretty nice, and um, you can run your fingers through it without any tangles. So that's always good. But yeah, if you guys want to know how I installed this hair and how I did this style, keep on watching. I was about to do this, but I just realized that I'm going to be using the Got To Be glue. And the thing is, with Got To Be products, you don't want to like cut the lace after you apply the glue. So like sometimes, well most of the times, like with um, like bolt holes or ghost barn glue, you want to first apply it like before you cut the lace and then that way you can go ahead and just cut it out um, that way it's like really easy it doesn't flake or anything but with the got to be glues there is flaking if you do it that way so you have to cut it out before and then just lay down whatever you have left if that makes sense but I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna make three sections You can use scissors, but it just won't give you that, like, um, it's going to make the lines a bit too straight and you don't want, like, the lace to be visible. So that's why using an eyebrow razor is much better. and make a line of where I want the glue to be. I feel like this way you could be more precise and make less mistakes. Now for the next bit. I'm not going to do any talking. You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm basically just going to be going in with the, I know it's kind of messed up, but it's my, um, the black got to be, the gel, and then a layer of the freeze blast as well. Blow drying that and then putting the lace on. It's what I do in, it's what I always do whenever I use these. I'm going to talk to y'all once I'm done doing that.
alcohol. Okay, and then there we go with everything blow dry. I'm taking my foundation brush, which has like a bit of my foundation on it right now, and I'm just taking that and putting that around the edges. Okay, so this lace is a bit too dark for me, and I tried to put some foundation, but I'm not too sure if that's working out. So, to do the little swoop, I'm just first making a little part. And I'm trying to not touch the, the edge of this because this is a 13 by 4, I'm pretty sure. So, there's not too much room. So let me start with that and I'm taking my beeswax, you can use like a wax stick, I'm putting some of that here. I'm first actually going to also section out the part here. And now go with it, like go through it with your hot comb, you kind of just want to like lay it really flat, I'm just trying to kill the hair. dries. 
I think this is pretty good. Let me shave that down. And I'm laying them with the rock to be gel. Yeah, that looks better. This hairstyle does not want to work with me. For the last finishing touches, I'm going to get some bobby pins and like kind of hold this part up. Okay, I like that better. And now I'm taking a lighter concealer shade for the part and like a little brush. Of course, I switched it up again. I just took it out of the ponytail and I think I like it better down. So it's still like that and the bobby pins are still there. But the hair from the back, whew, sorry, how cold. But the hair from the back is just out. But I am gonna go ahead and straighten it a bit more. I already like, I didn't do anything to it, so it's already straight. And I don't really have to do too much, so that's nice. I am finally done. <laughs> this is the final look, and I actually like it. It looks good. The hair is really straight. Y'all can see that. Yeah, the hair is straight, and yeah. I ended up liking it. The hair is really nice. It was just the lace that was giving me a hard time, but I made it work somehow. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this review and this little messy style, um, then give me a thumbs up and comment below what you guys would like to see next. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. But yeah, I will see you guys next time.